Hello, this is Minecraft here, and today I'm starting another Let's Play series. In this Let's Play series, as you probably already know, I will be playing on the Overworld Super Flat preset. This is going to be a very great Let's Play because we will be able to get to the end, to the nether, and all that good stuff. Um, one of my goals will be to actually get the elytra and um, get some coarse fruit from the end because I have never actually done that in a single player wo world without cheating. I've only got the elytra in creative and I hopefully this will be my first single player world without cheats where I actually get the elytra and the dragon heads head. So I'm going to start now, create a new world, and also please note that this is uh, 1.10.2. This is also my first Let's Play after 1.8 because um, in the Minecraft versions, and this is going to be my first Let's Play in which I actually um, play with the, with the new um, combat update with the harder, um, with the elytra and with the new renovated end. So let's start, shall we? Uh, I'm going to name this overworld super flat survival 1.10.2 um, of course game mode survival oh, generate structures on yes we need villages and dungeons and stuff allow cheats off I'm not gonna cheat bonus chest is for noobs and of course we have to switch it over to overworld so I'm just going to press use preset, done, it looks like everything got okay, and then create new world. And as you can see, there's no seed inside the seed um, generator, so this is going to be a completely random world. Let's hope we'll spawn next to a village, but um, I don't know. Hopefully we can get um, those sap to find saplings inside the villager chests. So let's see. It looks like I'm lucky today, and um, of course I got the achievement. And let's see what kind of uh, stuff they have in here. Oh, not bad, not bad. Quite a few iron swords, some armor, quite a bit of apples. But of course, it's kind of a pity that there's no saplings. And I completely hate the new auto jump feature, so let's just turn that off. Uh, I think it's in controls, auto jump off. Definitely auto jump off, because auto jump really sucks. So let's see, I accidentally switched on. I don't know why I'm getting such a low frame rate. Uh, I don't know, I usually get a higher frame rate, but it's okay. I wouldn't say it's lagging. Uh, so let's see, let me get the first thing, the first order of business is to get a crafting table. I actually think I will live here, so I would not actually deconstruct all this stuff now. I will simply just deconstruct all this stuff right here, just because, uh, just to make more space for living quarters. I will be living in this house for quite a bit before I can actually build my own house. And one thing to note is that this is actually more of a regular um, world, and that's why it's called Overworld. It has ores and stuff. It has uh, it has a few caves underground. Well, oh, actually, I think no, I think it does not have caves. However, it does have mine shafts, dungeons. Um, it also has uh, strongholds, so that means we can go to the end. It's a pretty great world. Now we'll just drop some of these stuff inside here. I won't take... I will just leave the iron sword with me. I'll just put all the stuff in. And also, I think I'll leave the bread in there just so I could eat. Um, I won't touch this right now because um, I will deconstruct those when I actually get an axe. Right now, my first order of business would be to actually get some wood. And, of course, I get them from here. Um... I usually don't deconstruct houses, I usually just get wood from the farms because I don't like deconstructing the villagers' houses because um, then what happens is the villagers will actually get eaten by zombies, which is not in my interest because I actually need the villagers. There's a common misconception that players treat villagers very badly, such as that they um, kill them, explode them, and stuff like that. However, I try to be nice to villagers because, especially in a super flat world, villagers are the only thing that is able for me to survive. In the sense that I can't survive without villagers. I need villagers to survive inside a super flat world. Because if not for the villagers, I would never have... Uh, I would never have any wood, I would never have any saplings, and I would simply not be able to play super flat. Uh, and that's why villagers uh, are extremely, villages and villagers are extremely useful in these worlds. And of course, through villagers I can get very useful equipment, such as uh, enchanted armor, uh, diamond armor, sometimes glowstone, and all that good stuff, of course. Um, and it's not even that difficult to get 
emeralds because I could just start up um, a massive redstone activated farm of wheat and carrots and I would simply sell all of that to villager farmers for quite a bit of emeralds. It's actually very easy to get emeralds, just grow some stuff, make some farms. Uh, so it looks like we got enough wood here, uh, just craft a pickaxe here. Oh, I, that was just stupid. That's just my instinct to make a crafting table. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot that we already have a crafting table, so let me make a pickaxe then. Let me see, and then I'll mine some, uh, I'll mine some cobblestone. And I think that I'm gonna go down in here right now because, uh, oh, actually, it would be more efficient if I would just go down right here. Because I don't want to deconstruct the villagers' houses, I would rather actually... Oh, let me put that in the first slot, I'm more used to that. Because uh, I would rather not deconstruct the villagers' houses, because like I said before, villagers are pretty useful. It's very interesting to play with a new cooldown effect, it has really changed Minecraft quite a bit. Uh, I wouldn't really say if it's good or bad. I guess there's pluses to it and minuses. It makes Minecraft more hard, so I would definitely support that. And also, I forgot, I'm just gonna make a furnace right now, but of course I need more... Um, I mean, I need more cobblestone. So let's see, because uh, I wanna make a furnace so I can get torches. Of course I could steal torches from the villagers, but I try not to. Um, I will also steal some wool from the posts of the villagers, because... Um, in the in their um, I hope you can see it's kind of dark here. Uh, you know how villagers have those like little light posts on which they put torches on inside the village. So that's where I usually get my wool from. Of course, sheep can actually spawn here and do quite often spawn here. It's much more efficient to uh, actually get wool from villagers. And then of course, when I get a mob grinder, I will definitely make wool from spider string. Um, so like I said before, this is actually what I'm going to take, including the torches, which I will use for to light up my caves and stuff and my... And oh wow, there's actually... There is actually a second village. Wait, what is this? There's actually trees growing in overworld super flat? Ah, uh, they make this way too easy because I remember when I was playing in the other... Um, uh, when I was playing in, I think, 1.5... I actually did not have trees here, because the trees did not spawn in the overworld super flat. Which actually kind of sucks, because this makes the survival very, very easy, which is kind of fortunate. So we have enough wool to make a bed, I'll just go and do that right now. Um, I also don't really like the new s no noises, especially how the chest closes, and how the door opens and closes. I I'm not really a fan of the new sounds. But anyway, looks like I have enough just to make a bed here. Uh, although I don't think I will use the bed often. I don't really like sleeping and skipping the night very much. Uh, so let's see, why isn't this placing? Um, so wait, why can't I place this here? That's weird. So it seems that I can't... Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yes, there we go, there we go. Yes, it's all good now. Um, this will just be my miscellaneous chest. I'll put up some chests more right here. And oh, hello, villager, butcher, what are you offering? Uh, yeah, I don't have that at the moment, and uh, I probably won't acquire that anytime soon because I will need to make an animal farm. However, it is possible to make an animal farm here because uh, mobs spawn here quite often, and I just forget always that I'm going to make more tools. The first order of business is to make a stone axe to mine, uh, to cut down all those trees. Let me make some more uh, sticks real quick. Make some pickaxes. Let's see if I have enough. There we go. Um, I'm gonna mine quite a bit underground, but before I can do that, I do actually have to collect quite a bit of wood from the trees, and of course they have the new villager pathways, which is the, and oh interesting, so actually how do you actually make this? I haven't actually researched this very much, so I'm not really sure how to make these paths. I think you till it with a hoe somehow, um, I'm not really sure how. And I would really like to check out what that village over there has to hold.
Well, look at that, there's some gravel there. I wonder how fighting mobs will be different. Of course, I know how there's like cooldown effects and stuff like that. Uh, oh, I, I accidentally opened the taskbar down there on Windows 10. Anyway, so I already got a sapling. I'll set up a tree farm. I think I'm going to set up a really, really large uh, cobblestone wall across the whole village just to make sure vill villagers don't turn into zombies and stuff. And also just to protect myself also. But of course, I think I will build my own house because I don't want to build and I, I don't want to actually live in a villager's house. So what I think I'll do is I think I will live inside. I will build my house somewhere around here. I think um, I'm not sure. I will clear out all of these um, useless um, see um, useless tall grass by just pouring a bunch of buckets of water. But of course, for that I need iron, and for that I need to mine. Uh, now, I guess one thing that I'm going to do is, I think, oh, look, some cows and chickens. That's going to come in useful. No. And, oh, look, I have seeds. That's very great because I can, uh, okay, you're staying here, chickens. Chickens are quite bad because they actually glitch out very easily. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, my God, I guess I'll actually have to use oak wood planks for this. I hope they don't escape. But anyway, since wood is renewable, I'm not too sad to use wood here and then I will deconstruct it anyway. So let me take some eggs here. And I think the last thing that I will do in this episode is I will check out what's in that village over there and see if they have any, um, if they have a blacksmith there and what kind of if they have any gold or iron there or any diamonds, even better. Let me just collect some sugar canes. I'm going to make a farm of that as well. And oh wow, the first day passed so quickly. So while I'm not going to be filming, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to uh, build a house and start mining. And then in the next episode, I will show you all the progress that I've made just to... Um, keep you up with what I've been doing here because I don't really like to do... Wow, they really have to change up the. They really have to change up the way that all this spawns because there's way too many apples here. I think they changed it in 1.9 or sometime. So anyway, it's nighttime, and that means that about 15 or so minutes have passed, and already someone's. Okay, I just I no, 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 no. And there we go, I saved these villagers. So let me just put up, put up a torch there. And I don't like villagers getting killed because I can trade with them, which is great. And there's already some creepers spawning. Let me just put it to hard because I like to play it hard. And there's quite a bit of creepers spawning here. And on super flat, there's actually many, many mobs spawning on the ground during um, nighttime. Because there's actually no caves underground. And that means that... And actually, because that there's no caves underground, because of this, um, because of the fact that there's no caves underground, all of the spawns go on the top um, and on the ground floor and on the ground level. So because of that, there's actually a lot of mob spawnages on the on the surface, which makes this even harder. So this seems like my house here, and I have no idea why these villagers are so stupid. No. No, you're not gonna kill these villagers. I really like the new attacks, actually makes it much harder. Um, so anyway, I think this is where I'm gonna end the episode. Like I said before, I'm gonna go mining, I'm gonna build a house for myself, and when I come back, I'm going to... You know what, I'm just gonna sleep right now, I just don't wanna... Oh my god, there's so many zombies here. And that really sucks, because I'm afraid it will actually... Yeah, and because it's on hard, they're actually going to eat all of the villagers pretty soon, which kind of sucks. Anyway, so I think I'm going to end the episode now. Like I said, I'm going to build a house, and I'm going to start mining. Um, I'm going to tell you all, and tell you and show you all the progress that I made in the previous episode, just to keep you up. Um, I don't like to build stuff on camera, just because I don't want to bore you guys out. I only show you just the most interesting things I do in my Let's Play. Uh, the first episode is sometimes kind of the most boring episode. We'll do much more stuff in the next episode. We only just got started now. 
and I'm gonna make much much more episodes right now I already have another episode uploading I have an episode I think it's episode 9 of redstone super flats redstone ready super flat survival uploading so expect more videos this was my Kralix thank you very very much for your time and I'm out see you all in the next video